I think that any vaccine is going to be several years away at the earliest. Hi, my name is Vanessa Raba. I'm an assistant professor in infectious diseases at NYU, and I work on emerging viruses and vaccines. Most vaccines take several years to develop, so it takes a lot of effort by a lot of people to make a vaccine. So we don't need the actual whole live virus strain to make a vaccine because scientists in China have already characterized the whole genetic sequence of this virus. We can use that to make um, portions of the virus, so we can use that to make proteins in different sequences without using the entire live virus and use those to make vaccines. Oftentimes it takes a while to get an effective vaccine, to get enough vaccine produced and to ensure that it's of good quality, that you can get it out to a large number of people. These are problems that we've seen with the Ebola vaccine in the past and using two vaccines because we don't have enough supply of the first vaccine in order to help control the outbreak. So it's really on a case-by-case -case basis depending on how much vaccine is available, where it's produced and what the current situation is at that time. So washing your hands frequently, staying at home if you're sick, trying to avoid touching your mouth, your nose, your eyes frequently, and keeping surfaces clean. So we know that there's the potential for this to be transmitted from human to human, and so the best thing we can do as a group is to kind of all pitch together and do good basic hygiene to try to help prevent other people from getting sick.